everyone, Denise here from So Limitless. And in today's video, I am doing a little fabric haul and a pattern haul, and I'll show you what I've bought recently. So let's get started. So first of all, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you're returning, if you are new here, then welcome. All of these fabrics that I'm going to go through were purchased on fabric.com. And so uh, most, like I was saying, I think, I said most of these are summer fabrics and transitional. So the first one is what's called a classic seersucker. And that is this one here. It's the classic blue and white stripe seersucker. I bought these, let me just tell you, I bought some of these fabrics when I was really thinking about uh, making more dresses. So I'll see if that happens. Otherwise, something like this is good for it would be good for a shirt too as well so i'll see sometimes i do buy fabric and i have an idea but then of course the idea changes as time changes and whatever so the next one is a 1 8 inch gingham fabric this is in this green and white i thought this was very pretty and so this is um this gingham, I always like. Fabrics like this wash really well. They tend to wash and dry well, which is something that I always look for um, when I'm choosing a fabric because I know I'm gonna wash it and dry it. Um, I don't do a lot of things that have to be dry cleaned, like wools or things like that. So most of the fabrics that I do have, and I always pre-wash them anyway, so that's one of the things that I look at. So that's always something to consider when you're purchasing your fabric. The next thing that I have on my list here is called a brush, Brussels washer, and it is a linen blend. It's just in black here. Uh, I bought this one because I had just finished my black dress. Um, there's a previous video that maybe I can do a link to uh, so you can see that if you haven't seen it already. But I really love working with that fabric and wearing it. So this one is a little bit different, but it is a linen and rayon blend, so it should wash well as well. I would probably make some pants, maybe like a slightly wide leg pant or something like that. I don't think I need another black linen dress. So that was the idea behind purchasing that one. The next one is this gabardine suiting. And this one is a solid. It's solid black. This one, it's polyester. And the thought with buying that one is I would like to actually make myself a suit. I haven't done that in a very long time. And so I think that would be good. Uh, you know, it would just be a matter of what patterns I would use. And if I would do a jacket and pants, most likely, um, I think I would really like to have something like that. So that was the idea behind that particular fabric. So um, that's it for the fabrics. Now let's go and I will show you the uh, patterns that I purchased. Now, as far as the patterns are concerned, all of the patterns that I'm gonna show you, they are all style arc patterns. They had a Christmas in July sale, so I went ahead and purchased some patterns. I have used their patterns before and I really like them. I don't have to do a lot of adjustment. I just like the style and um, just really nice, easy to wear types of things. So uh, the first one here is the Esme Designer Knit Top right here. And this one is obviously it's for knit fabrics, but I'm figuring that this, this these patterns I purchased with the idea of uh, more transitional into the fall season. So it's still, we're about to have another heat wave when I'm recording this. So, um, but with the patterns, I was thinking more fall transition type pieces. So something like this could be worn under a jacket. And then of course you do have the long sleeve, uh, and the high collar there. So that one, that was the one of them that I purchased. Next was Meg Raglan Tea. 
And the interesting thing about this one, one of the reasons I bought this is because it is a woven, it's for woven fabrics. And I do love to make t-shirts. That's one of the things that I do a lot of, but I have not done one with a, for a woven or with a woven fabric before. So I thought that would be kind of fun and interesting. And I do like the style. It's like I said, it's a raglan tee. It's got a little bit of a side vent here and a high low hem so that was one that i thought would be a good one to add next is the avery tunic top and this one is for woven or knit fabrics and one of the reasons i bought this one is because right here you have an exposed zipper and that's actually one of the things that i've never done so i thought that would be a good practice to to, uh, to do and it's got the again it's got the high low hem and it's a long sleeve so that would be great for cooler weather and then of course I had to do had to get the Logan jacket I have seen so many of these made and so many sewists have made this and absolutely love this pattern so this is definitely a fall pattern and I think that one would be a good one um to to have so i'm looking forward to that they offer a free pattern so you order whatever you would like but then you also get the option of it's usually two choices that you have and it changes every month uh, they offer free a free pattern so for my with my order the free pattern that i chose was this one it's called the olivia dress and this one is for woven fabrics so i thought it was kind of cute and um yeah why not now when i work with style art uh, patterns and like i said I've, i have several of their patterns that i've made before because i do trace them now for me that makes it much easier if i want to if i have to do any fit adjustments it's easier if the pattern is traced but also if i want to do any sort of a pattern hack to it i like to trace it and do that sort of even as a separate pattern rather than mess with the original because i always like to have that original pattern because i might actually want to just go ahead and make the original from time to time this way if i want to do a hack on it of whatever type then i have a pattern that i can do for that so that is what I will normally do. But that is it for this video. Um, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And yeah, so I, if you have any questions or comments about anything that you saw, uh, leave it down below. I can leave you some links to the fabrics if they are still available. Uh, these, like I said, were all purchased from fabric.com. Fabric.com is an Amazon company, so I can leave you some, some links to those. Stylark also has a U.S. store on Amazon. So if I find these patterns there, I can also give you some links to any of these patterns that may be available. But that's it. So I thank you all for watching. Take care, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.